with YouTube. It's your boy Dion with Quality Custom Designs back with another banger video. And in this video, we will be doing a client's logo. Um, so we are going to do a couple of patches. Um, so I am going to breeze through the first patch. The second patch, I'm probably going to time lapse it a little bit, but we are going to do two patches today. So without further ado, let's get into it. And also their link will be in the description below if you want to purchase their merch. So go and check that out as well, guys. So definitely stay tuned to the video. So because how large the patch is, I am doing it sideways or vertical, if you should say. So I am doing it vertical instead of horizontal. So. So when I first started to digitize the design, the border or the green that you see here now, it was actually covering the whole um, space basically. So there wasn't any gaps for like the letters to go in or nothing like that. So I just did that probably before I started up the video, I went back into the software and digitized it and actually made these gaps or the holes you can call it. Um, so that it wouldn't be that many stitches. Alright, so now we're about to go ahead and start the other color. It'll be yellow. So that's why I did do the background yellow because the last border will be yellow. Um, so I just wanted it to blend in just in case I do not cut off all of the fabric uh, once I cut out the patch. So I did use the yellow for a reason. So let's go ahead and get that started, guys, and definitely stay tuned. And also, if you're still here watching the video, go ahead, do me a huge favor and hit those notifications, subscribe to the channel as well as thumbs up the video. And once again, guys, I know I've said it before, but I will say it a hundred times more. I appreciate you guys and thank you so much for uh, your help and also for the ones who are sharing the video. I really do appreciate that too. So definitely support guys and let's go ahead and continue with the video. Thank you. Okay, so something is wrong with the thread. Let me go ahead and see what the problem is and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so nothing was wrong with the thread. I just ran out of bobbin. So I had to change my bobbin real fast. And um, that was really the only issue. I also purchased these, if you can see them. So I purchased these. 
are extras and let me see I purchased these extras and spares bobbins different colors and stuff like that so that I don't have to keep going back and forth to change them so it has been helping out a lot um, although it's not multiple colors of bobbins which I only use really black or white so but it has helped out a lot so I'll have those in the description below uh, purchase those from Amazon so I will put those in the description below so we are done with the color um, yellow so we are going to move on to the next color which is white and wow yeah this one is 30 minutes not going to show all 30 minutes of course but I mean I have to watch it but you guys don't but um, this one is 30 minutes so I am going to go ahead and start up the white Alrighty guys, real quick if you can, let me know down in the comment section what you think so far of how this patch is coming out. Does it look clean? Um, should I throw it away? I don't know guys, let me know down in the comment section below. And also, once again, if you guys want to see anything specific, go ahead and put that down in the comment section. I do get the notifications of when you guys um, write me and uh, send me a comment. So, I do get that notification. So, let me know. Like I said, I have done a patch for uh, a subscriber so definitely let me know guys down in the comment section and if i can digitize it it can be stitched out so thank you guys once again
So while stitching this out, I did notice something that I did not correctly put my start and finish stitches where I wanted to. Um, Cause like I said, I did have to redo something on the design and the software. So I just noticed it and it's small, but like you could probably see it. Maybe if um, I'll wait until um, everything is done, then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But it's small gaps, like real tiny gaps because of where the start and the finish is at. So it kind of like makes the stitches meet at a certain point. And at that point, it leaves a small gap Alright, so this part is going to be their stamp for their trademark and their um, the copyright. So I am going to stamp that. Sorry, I'm trying to get up under here to cut this. If you guys watch my videos, you know I hate jump stitches. So I just want to knock that part out and go ahead and continue. All right, now last but not least is the black border and background. So let me go ahead and get that started, guys. Definitely stay tuned. So I ran out of black bobbin, so I am going to go ahead and thread some more. I didn't want to, but hey, these are the steps you have to take. So something happened, um, apparently the thread ripped, so let me see where that happened at. What I'm going to do is go ahead and clip it there and take it out from here. Let's see. So apparently it just ripped. Yeah, so. All right, let's restart it up.
Let me know guys how the design is coming out so far. Does it look clean? Yes, no, maybe so. Go ahead and put that down in the comment section below guys. Thank you. Alrighty, so everything is finished. Everything is finished embroidering. So okay, now. so it is finished embroidering. So what I will do is take it out the hoop and show you guys the final result. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the patch and how it came out. I, add, I had to add that extra yellow for the border uh, just to try to keep everything together. I could have left it out as well, but, I mean, it makes it just looks a little bit better. So, um, yeah, guys, so let me know what you think about the design so far. And um, let me know how it came out, guys. Looks clean to me, though. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, also in the previous, uh, in the beginning of the video, I was going to show you that these little marks like right here and here, I mean, most of it is not visible but for the most part um it's because of where the stitches started and ended at so that's something i will change in the software when i do um this design again so definitely stay tuned to the channel guys uh, more more videos coming great videos and um this your boy dion with quality custom designs and as always stay blessed and continue to strive for greatness and i'm out